Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. Mm, mm, mm. What's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video and there are just so many of you today so without any further delays let's get started with this day in the life video for all of those new people who are new to the channel who don't know me my name is Saloni and I am a biomedical engineer I live in New York and as you can tell from the weather it's snowing it's minus seven degrees Celsius today so it's a cold morning i uh, barely got out of bed but we're gonna head to work now i'm gonna take you guys along <laughs> So as a biomedical engineer, if you guys haven't watched my previous video, I talk about what a biomedical engineer basically does. Uh, my job right now is to work with design development, uh, basically product development of automated molecular diagnostic platforms. Um, I'll take you throughout my day so you'll kind of see a little bit about the work that I do. Particularly the area that I specialize in is called uh, lab on chip technology or microfluidics. Um, this is basically like think of every single like huge lab processes if we could make a chip out of them what's the best way to automate these technologies that's what i work with so i'm excited i'm going to take you guys along um we are here at work and i'll see you guys in a bit <laughs> Alright guys, so it's about um, 11 a.m. and it's kind of like my coffee break. So we have multiple buildings. Um, I just like to walk in between them instead of taking the car, kind of get some fresh air. It's minus 10 degrees today, which isn't really helping, but I thought I would talk to you guys a little bit today and uh, actually tell you what I actually do as a biomedical engineer. So here's the thing. A company, when it makes like automated molecular diagnostic uh, platforms, there's just so many things involved in that, you know. Um, we do months and months of feasibility testing if we want to introduce a product into the market. And since it's a molecular diagnostic uh, company, we kind of um, then have to prove out the biology of the entire process. And that's when the bio group comes in. Once we have that nailed down and we kind of uh, know that we can reproduce this technology or this product um, on multiple scales, uh, extensive testing later that's when engineering and design comes in where we have to, we're given something that works in terms of biology and it's our job to replicate that using um, automation uh, robotics liquid handling systems all that fun stuff that's basically what my role is and even after that's all nailed down when we have um, manufacturing come in to make these multiple products, there's tons and tons of QC testing because at the end of the day, we're dealing with biology-based products and it's people's lives that these things are testing. So there's a ton of QC testing, FDA rules involved. And all of this is like, if one product A was, um, uh, was to start from scratch, that's what the product cycle would look like. So that's kind of like the synopsis and the gist of what I do. And in all of this, uh, my role is as a design development uh, biomedical engineer. And I really have fun at my job. Um, there's a ton of um, microfluidics involved, lab on chip, te chip technology, which you guys have probably seen a little bit here and there. But I, th I really enjoy it. And it's getting really cold here. Uh, so I'm gonna cut this clip. I'll see you guys in a bit. I 
I just wrapped up uh, a couple meetings and uh, came out for lunch. I'm gonna grab some uh, pizza. It's just a neighborhood friendly pizza place. You know the fun thing is, I'll put this on the uh, a screen here. A couple of days ago, I came in in here, and I think the people here are like Middle Eastern or something. They were um, playing full on Punjabi songs, and it just made my day. I was just genuinely so happy listening to that. Uh, but we're gonna grab some lunch. I wrapped up a couple of meetings um, in the morning. After this, I have to head to the hospital to get some work done, um, a couple of trainings, but. I'll catch you guys in a bit with more updates. All right guys, so do you see that? That's how the bus stops here are. I know I told you guys that sometimes in the snow it's like covered, but there's only some bus stops. Uh, most of them are like that. It's You just have to wait there for the buses to come. So the funny thing is I started out at that very bus stop when I came to the US uh, to study I didn't have a car um, I came with the mindset that I had to earn my way up and once I graduated I got a job um, after um, maybe a couple months of working that's when I got my first car which was the Honda Civic and now I've worked my way up to this Mercedes um, I want to make it really clear that it's not uh, at all with YouTube money. My whole aim with the YouTube channel is to give you guys some motivation, inspiration and like a path forward, you know, that uh, uh, that helps you guys embrace your imperfections. Um, I'm in no way trying to show off with this new car, uh, but I uh, just wanted to address that uh, and get it out there. Um, so, you know, in all honesty, so it's pretty clear that this car that I've earned, it's through me being a biomedical engineer, not me being Crazy Medusa as a YouTuber. Um, so, yeah. Right, so it's been a long and uh, tiring day. It hasn't gotten any warmer. The weather is still like minus 7 degrees outside and the wind isn't really helping today. But, you know, you just have to uh, deal with it. Anyways, um, it's about 5 p.m. right now. These are usually my work hours. I head to work around 8 in the morning and I come back around 5. Some, some, some days are longer than others, uh, but sometime in between, if I feel like it, I do come home for lunch if needed. Otherwise, I just eat in the office. Um, but once I go back home, in the weekdays specifically, I have meetings scheduled with a bunch of you guys. Um, it's the mentorship programs. So depending on where uh, students are in the world, I have meetings with them to make sure they're, uh, you know, making their weekly progress and assure that I'm able to provide the right guidance um, in terms of whatever help they need. So I have a meeting with one of my students today. So we're going to go home and uh, the meeting's at 5.30. So quickly go change. And after that, um, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Hey, Bill, I'm in the mood for a switcher. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup I hit the stage and leave with money, that's a sticker She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker Alright guys, it is 11pm and I am pretty much exhausted I just got home from the gym um, so This is pretty much how every day is Here and there, find some time to do basically everything but i think like the one thing that i can't survive with is just skipping the gym for me going to the gym is like something that relieves my stress i feel really really productive um after i get a good workout um so do you guys have something like that i mean comment that down below that's today's question um what's the one thing that you would never skip uh, no matter how busy or tired you are in a day um hashtag crazy medusa and um, I'm gonna wrap up the video right over here. I'm just gonna go have some dinner and watch a little Netflix and that's pretty much gonna be calling it a day. But if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. If you're someone who's new to the channel, I hope you like this video and welcome, but stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, bye.